cash for your collectibles at Smitty's Cards and Coins. What she did was just pass it along a little further down the road. Um, she's not so sure that we are in compliance or whether we're willfully defying her order to remove the tigers. She's got to understand, has to entertain the fact that we don't have twenty-five or thirty or forty thousand dollars to build cages somewhere else to move the cats. This is not something that needs to be done when in reality Nye County can remove that piece of property from their planning district. If they remove it from their planning district, because it's, it fits in the master plan, there's no development, there'll be no development for 20 years, they should remove that property from their master plan, which would then eliminate any problems with Nye County because we're in compliance with Nye County Animal Control. And as uh, some people have a problem with it, but the realities are we are uh, under the uh, NRS 574, it tells all about how to become a private shelter, police power, what happens if somebody does something to a policeman, and also about the acts and omissions. It says something like, you know, if you make a mistake, they can't hold you to it. The fact that Nye County is trying to make me get a license when in fact that I have permission from the state of Nevada to operate a state humane shelter flies in the face of fairness. But bigger than that is the federal laws are being violated because Nye County thinks that their little zoning uh, department supersedes federal mandate about the protection of endangered species.